Let's take a closer look as to how the, the flux into a surface can be the same as the flux out of a surface. Right? And I really should mean, or I should say, a closed surface. The net flux into and out of a closed surface is zero. Okay, so let's see. I've drawn here a spherical surface and four electric field vectors that are going into and out of this surface at you know, th those points drawn. I've also drawn angles, theta one, theta two, th theta three at the equator, doesn't have to be drawn, and theta three down below, okay? So let's take a look for this dA right there, right? At that little differential section where it's going into this surface, let's take a look at what's going on. So if I draw this tiny little dA section, translated down in space, that is going something like that, right? And the electric field actually is going to the right. Something like this, right? So the angle in between those two should be that, right? If we take now where it's coming out of this surface, if we draw that right beside, so something like that, like that, like that, like that. DA now goes up like that. And the electric field still points to the right, right? And so now the angle in between is actually as it's drawn above. However, when we talk about the electric flux, we're dealing with cosines, right? And that's relating the magnitudes of both vectors. And it's really a way to compensate or account for all possible orientations between those two. So the net or the electric flux is E dot dA can be written like the magnitude of both. So E magnitude of dA is just dA for right now. And cosine of the angle in between. Okay, well the cosine of that angle shown here, right, that cosine is actually... Let me draw it in blue. Down there, right? That's the cosine. And that's the same magnitude as the cosine on the other one, where it's coming out of the surface. At least it should be, right? So if we do the net electric flux where it's coming out, E, dA, cosine, theta here, these magnitudes for E, that doesn't change, right? The electric field is, is staying constant. The, the size or, or the magnitude of the dA vector in both, that's not changing because it would be silly to change the size of our little differential area where it's going into and out of, right? We might as well keep it the same size. What that size is, it doesn't really matter. It's just a dA. It's more of a placeholder for right now. And so between the two, where it's going in and where it's going out, those magnitudes don't change. And so they're also, this product then is the same. And now the cosine values will also be the same in magnitude, but opposite in sign, right? What I haven't drawn so far, and you may have been yelling at your computer screen this entire time, this angle gives us a negative. And this is the key to the net electric flux, right? If the area vector, if the angle in between E and DA is greater than 90, well, they're basically pointing in opposite directions. So the flux is a negative flux, right? Negative. However, if dA and E are, are pointing mostly in the same direction, right, less than 90, if there's some component of dA in the same direction as E, in other words, then it's positive, right? And so if you add up the two, because they're the same magnitude, they'll give you zero 
right, for this position and this position, or that DA and that DA. And that same principle applies regardless of which two DA locations you have, right? Which two locations on this surface you have. The key is that the field has to be constant, right? And it has to be symmetric, right? At least if we were to do this simple, the method. So that's why angle two equals angle two over there. This is why the cosine between dA and E4 right there is negative. Cosine here is positive. Same magnitude, but opposite sign. Right? And these cancel out each other down there. Regardless of where you do it on this surface, right? wherever it happens, they will cancel out always because this is a closed surface. This next object, right? this is some amorphous blob. It's not necessarily symmetric at all, okay? And so we have, if you look closely, every possible combination of a DA, like that. Maybe up here, the, the DA goes upwards. On top, it goes up like, like that, right? Every possible DA orientation does not necessarily match a spot on the other side. So this object is not as pretty and symmetric as this sphere was, but that's okay, right? That's the beauty of the cosine, right? That's the beauty of the dot product in this electric flux. Phi E is the dot product between the electric field and all of the DAs, right? And really, I, I should write electric field and A's. Right? I, I've been failing to write the integral this entire time. So really, it should be that. Right? Every possible differential area, every possible normal vector can be summed over, assuming you can find out the area of this blob. Thus, the net flux into will equal the net flux out of.